Well, basically, it's something I thought that I'm originally from here, so I thought that I'd basically, um, I've come back and I wanted to put something on for, for the town, really. And this year is our second year, so hopefully uh, we're starting to get a bit well more known around the place. Uh, I've got uh, CMC Mail Artist of the Year, Travis Collins, he's going to be heading it. Um, Missy Lancaster, Bailey, Casey Barnes, Hayley Jensen, Natalie Pearson and Matt Cornell. And we're going to do a little competition that I hope to become like an annual thing. We're getting all new or new, reasonably new bands to sort of do a competition. We're going to have our first one out in uh, Emerald at the Marabyn Tavern on the 20th of April. Then at the Great Western for the second heat, here for the third and fourth one at Agnes Water Tavern. The winner gets to open the festival. And this year we've also, I've got some production guys on board and they're also going to get a film clip made of their song. So... And then we're going to invite them back as a paid act for the following year. So just to keep that and give them that experience to play in. So all pretty exciting, hopefully. Hopefully get a few people. Yeah. So at this stage, because the, the one in Emerald's coming up on the 20th, is not far away. Have you had a lot of interest? We've got about three three spots so far there. So hopefully we're going to try and, try and get that five. We'll get that. But there's some good acts that look like they're coming through. The um, Great Western, we've still got four spots there available. Bill of Willis, surprisingly, is full. <laughs> so I, I, I didn't think that that one was going to... I thought we'd struggle to get the bands here, but we've... Um, yeah, that's that's full, so that's going to be a good night here. And Agnes Water, still a little while away, still a little while away sorry, yeah. but we've got one, one already there, so... And are you looking particularly for country music? Ro- that rock edge country type thing, I mean, it's... I don't think you can really call country country anymore. It's not the slim, dusty type of country anymore. It's more that uh, rock edge. So, yeah, that pop, anything really that sort of, yeah, but that yeah, that country country rock type thing. So they're quite welcome to to apply via the website there. So, who will be judging? Um, I'm going to do it by uh, to keep it the integrity of it all. I'm going to do a Facebook poll and just put the the names of the artists or the bands that they and it's going to be via vote. So. Heat one, whoever wins that then goes to the grand final. Heat two, grand final, blah, blah. And then the same on the grand final, do a poll and the winner, the one with the most votes. So that way it's not sort of coming back at me saying, oh, you're biased on that. So it's uh, it's up to the people to, to vote them in. So we'll see how that goes. And are you a musician yourself, Mark? No, can't sing, <laughs> can't sing a bar. <laughs> I can play a CD, that's about it. <laughs> oh, well, no USB these days. <laughs> So how did you lead? To, how did you get yourself into organising music festivals then? Oh, I don't really know. I just wanted to. Do, I, I used to DJ here all those years ago. So and I've always sort of loved music. But if you ask my friends about if they when when they sit there and see you put you're putting on a country music festival because I wasn't that into that country music much. But no, it's it's not for me. It's for the for for the town really. So that's what I thought the people would sort of go for more so than anything else but added stress I guess <laughs> something, something to do hopefully get CQ involved I mean it's a massive place and I don't think there's really anything like that here, up up this way so if we can sort of make it a, a an annual event and and become successful then great we're sort of bringing in people to from all over central Queensland and the and the heats with the competitions are involving central Queensland towns as well so I think that's that's going to be a good thing too. So, And how was the first festival received last year? It was a little bit down in numbers. There was a lot of things on that I hadn't counted for or, or a thing, but um, we still got a decent crowd there. I'm, I, I'm, happy, I'm happy with what, it, what came. What did come, it, it's all positive feedback. So that's a few hundred people, a few hundred of people now sort of plugging it. And it's, I, can, I can notice the difference this year with the more, more interaction and involvement with, with people. So hopefully that just goes well. I mean, it was stressful and then touch wood, it went off really well last year. So it was a mammoth task for me to do, but it was, it was good in the end. So our second one's going to be your, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Indeed. And along the way, you're developing a great love for country rock. I am. Don't say that too loud, though. <laughs> no, it's it's good. We've got um, yeah, it's it's great. We've got um, Baylor's coming back this year. Actually, so they've um, they were a, a crowd favourite last year, so it's good. It's it, it's just good. I think it's great for the town.